Good morning friends, we are with a 9 video in VBOT tutorial series. So last time we learned how to implement obstacle avoidance node. So as you can see, if a robot sees an obstacle, it avoids it and rotates and goes in the other direction randomly. So this is a way of implementing obstacle avoidance. If you want to learn how this is implemented, go to last tutorial. And today we are going to implement teleopt. So moving our robot with keyboard. So are you guys interested in this? So let's go for it. Let's make a new robot controller. Again, C++ and we will have keyboard as the controller name. So we have a standard code. So let's replace our code and so we are here with our code. Let's build our code. Yes, we are building. It's been built successfully. And we can replace the controller of our robot with keyboard. So now it has. So we'll reset this. We'll set it to keyboard. Okay. Now we'll reload the environment. <clears throat> so now if I play our robot is not moving. So now if I click on front arrow of our keyboard, it rotates. I'm clicking a right arrow, it takes the right turn. So basically we are able to teleopt our robot. So let's do one thing. Let's take it to some obstacle. And here you can see that we are getting a reading of 1000. That means there is no obstacle in the front. Now, if we go near the wall, and we'll see, we can see the reading decreasing. That means we have an obstacle nearby. So you can see the values are 960 and 820. If we go front, the values decrease. This is how we talked, how the sensor is calibrated. So the nearer we go, the values decrease. And farther we go, values will tend back to 1000. So this shows our distance sensor works fine. And now let's go to the code of teleopt. It feels cool if robot listens to your fingers. Yeah. So now let's go to the code. In this, we have an extra API, which is vbot slash keyboard, because uh, the keystrokes are be are going to be converted into command. Again, this time we make instance of our keyboard as KB. So now we have a robot instance, keyboard instance and distance sensors instant. This is the same code which initiates distance sensor. This is the code to initiate the motor. These two are the same steps which we used in obstacle avoidance. And now this is new where we enable keyboard. So after every 64 milliseconds, we will get a ping from keyboard. So if you are clicking some button, you will get its response after every 64 milliseconds. So what we do with that response? So initially we set our speeds to be zero. 
then inside the while loop we have a function get key which is implemented inside the keyboard.hpp which is the standard vbot class so we get the key in our key so here we'll get an integer so here if you click on any key you can print the statement here because this is c plus plus so you can have c out statement here and you can actually see when you click a button what value is given to the uh, key integer now i know if i click forward i get a value of 315 so i check if my value is 315 my left speed becomes one right speed becomes one so that i go straight now if my value is 317 that means backward button then i do both negative velocities if i have to turn right so 316 is right so i do left wheel plus one and right wheel as minus one so it rotates about its position and similar to left wheel which whose key is 314 so left speed is minus one and right speed is one and if no key is pressed i do zero zero so you must have seen if we don't press anything our keyboard returns minus one as default key and our speeds will be zero zero and we also implemented c out statement to get value of our right sensor and left sensor so as we saw in our implementation on the wall we were getting the values here in the console it was due to these two lines in the code and at the end what we do is we provide velocities we set velocity to all four wheels and at the end we delete the robot instance and we return zero so this is a basic code for teleopting and you must note that if you want to teleopt a robot you must click somewhere on the screen so that the keyboard output knows that it has to go to the program so make this program run and enjoy a tour with your robot that's all for today's video thank you it was great having you here see you soon do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends